Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to yet another Elite Dangerous video. It's all happening in the Elite Dangerous galaxy at the moment with attacks here, there and everywhere. Stations are burning and a call has gone out to all commanders for missions of mercy. But just because it's a mission of mercy doesn't mean you can't make the dollar. Make the old in-game credit and also pick up some items like materials, data, escape pods, black boxes, you name it. It's all up for grabs in these stations in need. Let's check it out. Hello everyone and here we are in a stricken system. It's got stations on fire. There have been attacks. You've been called by the Pilots Federation to come in with your ship fitted out for a rescue and humanitarian aid mission to rescue passengers. But there's no reason why you can't make a little bit of money on the side as well. There is going to be a payment for getting these passengers off the station, for doing and taking part in this evacuation. But what sort of ship do you need? Well, typically for these missions, I use an anaconda. And the reason for that is, is because it's big. I can fit so many passenger cabins in there, economy passenger cabins that is, um, it's not real. You know, I can get about 110 in there, probably a bit more, but the reason why I haven't gone for all of it, I'll explain in a moment. Typically, I'm in the system, not too far away from Imperial space. This particular system's been attacked and you can see other systems that have been attacked as well. You can see it with the little icon of the space station with a minus sign through it. It's degraded, it's been attacked. They're everywhere in this particular story arc. I'm going towards Parkinson Dock. I'm leaving the rescue ship at Parkinson's Dock and I'm heading all the way to that station. Now, what am I doing? So I've turned all my non-essential modules off. Some say you could always turn your shields off as well. I do like a little bit of protection. It's an expensive ship I'm flying in. So I've turned all my weapons off. It's only a short jump. If I'm going to be interdicted between there and there, I'm particularly unlucky. Um, I'm in pretty good standing with the area anyway, so that certainly helps, even though I'm hostile to the actual faction. So it's only a short jump between the rescue ship and to the station. And you'll see I've configured my fire groups that I've got my heat sinks to dissipate heat. I've got two banks of those. You may want to have more. And I've also got collector limpets. Now, why am I taking collector limpets to a station on a humanitarian mission? Well, I'll tell you. Because floating around inside these stations, there's always going to be some things to pick up. And for a long time, I ignored this, but money to be made, right? So... I'm just about to drop out now at Parkinson Dock. It's only, you know, a couple of seconds in between jumps. And you can rack these missions up, you know, over an hour. You could probably do about 50 if you really put your mind to it. All depending on what you do. And here we are, we can see that station has been burning. It's had a right old going over. Um, whether it would be terrorists, whether it be the Thargoids. You can see there are damage all along the hull all along the cargo pods, it's venting atmosphere, and there's flames everywhere. Now I've filled my anaconda to the brim with economy and, well, I couldn't get economy cabins. I went for business cabins. There's nothing stopping you putting a, you know, lower grade economy cabins in there. There really isn't. So, you know, you can get even more people in. But I'm quite happy with the loadout that I've got. But tune your ship and your loadout to what's best for you. Now on approach, I've requested docking. You can see all the flames and what have you all around the entrance and egress port at the station. Now when I'm on approach, I typically tend to drop the cargo bay and I also tend to put my landing gear down just so I'm going in nice and slow. I'm going to tune my fire group. So my current fire group is for my collector and my heatsink. So when my heat sinks run out of ammunition, I can then flick up to the next flyer group and then fire a heat sink and if needed to, fire off more collectors. Now as you're approaching, you can see all the rents on the hull of the station and all the green goo that's been, well, basically a dangerous form of damage. We're flying in and as soon as you get through the um, entry port, your temperature's gonna rise. Keep an eye on that temperature. 
Look out for all the debris flying around inside as well. It will knock you off course. There will be explosive decompressions inside the station. Get those limpets firing, okay? You can see there's lots of canisters and lots of wreckage, personal effects, encrypted correspondence, wreckage components, occupied escape pods, damaged escape pods, you name it, it's in there and it's all up for grabs. Now, it's not going to make you a hell of a lot of money, but it will make you some. It will cover your limpets. And if you're pursuing a particular item where you've got to give in, say, escape pods or other components like that, this is perhaps the best place to get some of that material. Let the limpets go out and do their work. If you haven't got a large enough limpet controller, anything will basic, basically do, as long as you're firing your limpets out. Now, your heat is going to increase no end, right? Make sure you've got on your trigger button those heat sinks because when it gets around about 100 100 degrees you're going to want to fire one of those heat sinks off and protect your ship because even though these are humanitarian missions you do want to go incurring lots of damage on your nice new shiny ship no matter how cheap or how expensive the ship is you're here to help you don't want it particularly costing you too much of the elite dangerous dollar now if you look carefully you can see all the items that your limpets are going to pick up, they're swirling around in a haphazard motion with the decompressions going off as well. This, this is money. These are items. These are materials. Okay, so it's well worth bringing those limpets. Now, before you deplete all your limpet ammunition and all your heat sink ammunition, for that matter, picking up items and, you know, getting rid of the heat in your ship, you're going to want to land you're all here to pick up passengers. All this other material is just, you know, that's gravy on your dinner, right? So once you get in, it's going to all going to be depleted services into the passenger lounge. Now, there's no real rush here, okay? You can take your time once you're inside the station, once you've docked. I tend to look through and I'm in the mood for a bit of data. But you may want some of the other items that people are carrying. It's all up to you and the individual commander. For me, I'm after the data. Atypical disrupted wake echoes, we'll have some of those. Bulk anomalous scan data, we'll have some of that. Firmware, always a great thing to go and get as well from these particular missions. And you can really fill up your stocks. And then once you've taken all the stuff that you particularly want to get, then hey, you know, there's always the many aspect of things. And typically these missions range from anything from 250,000 right the way down to smaller amounts. Now, once you've filled all your cargo hold, it's going to be time to get out of Dodge, right? And get out of Dodge pretty quickly. That's why I always leave at least one heat sink. Because when you leave this and you come out of the underground station docking bay, right? You're going to be subject to the same environmental pressures that you were before you got in. The heat's going to start hammering your ship. Pip off one of your heat sinks and that will then make things a little bit more calmer as you egress the station so i'm filling up nicely all these citizens are getting out make sure you get as many as you can i think i, I get out of this with say just one seat remaining and that's the kind of thing you want to be looking at i've got all my materials black boxes and what have you you can see there's only one economy seat left great brilliant time to leave so here we are, we're going to launch. Got my trigger ready on the old heatsink. But don't forget, you've got to deploy your modules when you're out. You can't just pull the trigger, right? Once you dock, everything folds back into your ship, right? Um, so you're going to have to deploy your, mod your modules. So don't forget, that's going to be two trigger presses. Here we are, we're leaving the station. Be careful, I'm being blown off course by decompressions as well. Um, I'm deploying my heat sink modules. Let the heat sink go. My temperature's coming down. And then that gives you a little bit more of a sedate method of getting out of the station. Line yourself up. Make sure you don't embarrass yourself by knocking the windshield off your ship. And you are out. And that's it. That's all there is to it for a rescue mission. So now you've got a passenger hold full of people. What are you going to do next? Well, you've got to get them back to the rescue ship. 
Now, as we discussed earlier, this was my starting point for this mission, it's only a few seconds away. Into the passenger lounge. Unload all your passengers. Sometimes it's always going to be about the money. Sometimes it'll be about the materials as well. So make sure you're not too click happy when doing this. Okay, so if you need that information, if you need that data, if you need those materials, that's purely up to you. You may be a commander that's just in it for the money. If so, good for you. Like I say, I'm in it for the data. A typical wake, wake echoes. That's what I'm after. You know, a bit of firmware. But it's probably the wake echoes I like the most. But then, you know, like I say, it's all about the, about the money as well. And you've done that particular mission. You feel a little bit good about yourself. And you've done something to help people out in game. Great. Gives you a little bit of a feel good feeling. Once you finish that, though, don't forget to go and unload all the stuff that you've picked from the station. Occupied escape, escape pods, personal effects, damage escape pods, wreckage components, black boxes. And then once you've done that, don't forget, you might have picked up something like encrypted communications. So go into the market and sell those as well. Encrypted correspondence. And then don't forget, if you've used all your limpets, don't forget your limpets, pick them up and make sure you restore them, but keep some space in your cargo hold as well for any items that you pick up in the station. Well, that was it in a nutshell. How to do rescue missions, quite in depth, I thought. Um, it's not that difficult. You'll soon pick it up. It's all about getting the right ship for the right mission and customizing your loadout. I've been Ricardo. Thanks for watching. See you soon and stay safe.